Hey everybody, welcome back. So Microsoft Teams, it's a massive platform for collaboration and that goes not just for remote and hybrid workplaces, but even for in-person workplaces where we want to have sort of one consolidated place where we can have remote meetings, where we can store documents, do all sorts of work. And installing Microsoft Teams might not even be something that you need to do. It comes installed already with Windows 11. Uh, when you install Microsoft Office, it'll install Microsoft Teams. Or a lot of times a school or a workplace computer will already have it installed. If you do need help installing Microsoft Teams, I do have a video on the channel on how to do that as well. But before you can work with any team, no matter what, you have to have a team. So you can join an existing team, but there are going to be cases where you want to create your own team. That's what I'll show you in this video. Let's go and create a team in Microsoft Teams. It's really easy, quick to do, but there are a few things that I'd like to show you that I think are important to make that team really effective and useful. Once you've installed Team, you just go into Create Team. When you hit the Create Team, it'll give you either the ability to go from scratch or from an existing team. And if you're in an educational environment, it'll be a bit different. This is a corporate environment or a business environment. So let's go and create a team using the Manage a Store template. It'll give me some pre-built channels that it'll think be, ha be helpful, as well as some apps. And I'll go next to this. I can then choose whether or not this team is going to be a private team or a public team. I'll just make it public. And I'm going to give my store a name. So we'll create a store for my hiking shop. I can put in a description of what it's about. I'll go ahead and create this team. So it's going to take a while to create the team and you do need to wait. It'll show all of the channels, some of which are hidden. I'll go in, I like to show the channels that I have. You can uh, show the channels just by clicking on the hidden channels, choosing the option to show and those will now show those channels for me. And it does take a while for this to occur. So if you were creating the team, it takes a while. It'll tell you when it's ready. It'll say your new team is ready. And now I'll go into the hiking shop here. You'll notice that it does give me the fact that it's a public team. I'm the only member right now. I can go in and manage this team, which is very useful. I do like to create an icon for the team that's more appropriate. So I'm just going to upload a picture here. Let's find some sort of picture that'll make sense for this hiking shop. So I'll load maybe a picture of some boots in here. There you go. That's going to make it a little bit more fun. You can change that image, whatever is appropriate. A store logo would be another example of what you could put in there and you'll see that I can then go into for example a channel I can move around here notice that it's already changed the icon here but it hasn't changed it in the team description here it takes a while for that to catch up so I'll go in I'll add a channel maybe there's a channel I need to add after the fact so I'm going to create a new channel maybe I'll create a channel for hiking maps that I'm going to share with customers and then I can put a description in here so these are going to be different store maps that I hand out for hikers that are interested in this case I'll let everybody on the team join. I could make it private. Maybe only the guides are able to use it and I'll automatically show that. So it'll add that channel and now I'll have that channel available to everybody. So you can already see that I've got places to collaborate. I've got places to store documents. Pretty cool. I could put a conversation. I like to start every new team with an announcement. So I'll go into new conversation, I'll make it an announcement and I'll say something like welcome to the team, maybe describe a little bit about what the team's about. I also like to often put an image in here. So I'll add a heading in here. So, you know, here's our new team or whatever I want to put in here. So um, our mission statement, for example, I could put in our mission statement. I could put in uh, down below, you can see I can add attachments. I can add a different type of document or a, a GIF in there, all sorts of things, but I'll just put a simple one in there. Um, you'll notice that I also have down below the ability to add people, create more channels, or I can um, work with the team to put people into the team. So I'm going to go in and add some people into the team. I'm adding more members into the team. And you'll notice that with Victor Stone, he's coming in as a guest, but I'm just going to add in my team members here. When I do add the team members in here, they'll all come in as just regular members. You'll notice that Victor Stone comes in as a guest. So I'm actually going to take him out for now, but I could add somebody outside of my organization in. And I could also go in and say Bruce Wayne is going to be an owner. So he's going to help me co-manage this uh, store team. And I'll go in there and you'll see that I'm able to then go in and maybe manage this team. You'll see everybody, Bruce and I are there as the owners and I can see all the members here as well. You can also add members from this tab as well. 
um, so I can go in and get information on the members that are part of my team. So it's starting to look pretty good already. I'll go to the general tab here. Now I want to add some functionality. Notice that one of the apps that was already installed was the wiki. So I can start populating the wiki in here. I can put names in here, you know, boots that rock on rock. And then I can go in and I'll add another section in here. So you have multiple sections to the wiki. So that makes it easy for people to navigate the wiki, get information. So maybe my retail store, I want to put information about different, uh, different aspects of hiking. So underneath here, I've got boots that rock. I've got a category for high top boots. I've got a category for running type boots, running shoes, and I can then start adding content. You notice I can put conversations around that content. So I'll put, you know, some content in here. And now I've started to build up a wiki, a repository of information. This can be very useful, for example, in the retail setting. So people can find out information on products. I can add my own tabs as well. So one of the things I do like to add is maybe a community. Now the community will actually be a Yammer community. So I'll add this in. I have to have this community already created. In, in Microsoft. So I've already created it in Office 365. So I already have a community for hiking. But what I'm doing is I'm adding this to my team site. I'll also, so when I go in, I'll create this Yammer community. I've created it already. I'm adding it to my team site. And this is a really great way to maybe have conversations. Again, I can change the images here to, to make it more appropriate. So you can edit the community within Teams. You just have to do the initial creation of the community within your Office 365. So there we go. I've got a nice little Yammer community in here. But I'm not done yet. I want to do some more cool things here. So for example, let's say I want to go in and create some posts in here. I can do that in the Yammer community or I can add a new tab. Maybe I'll create some lists. So maybe I want to create some lists of things that need to be done around the store. So we can go in, I can save a list here into the general tab. I can use an existing list that I have or create a new one. Lots of templates that Microsoft has here. So for example, maybe I want to go in and do an event itinerary. And underneath here, I can use this as an example. And then what I can do is add this into the team here. I'll give it my own name or keep it the same, whatever I'd like to do. So maybe I want to do some sort of event that we're going to do, which is a plan to go um, onto the Mount Happy hike. So we're going to go there, change colors, modify icons, do all those sorts of things that help personalize it. And you can start seeing that what I'm creating is this really great central area where everybody can collaborate. So you can see up top, I've got post files, wiki hikes, the Mount Happy hike specifically. You can see that the lists I've got for the Mount Happy hike, I can create a new item in here and I can start collaborating. So there's so much more I can do with Teams, but that's a great example of a simple team. That is literally how easy it is to create a Microsoft team. And I really encourage you, if you have permissions to do so, to create one in your school environment or in your workplace, uh, even if you're not going to use it, just to get into the habit of creating a team to see how it's done. It's super easy and it is a skill that I think we're going to need moving into the future. If you want to learn more skills about Microsoft Teams, I do have a lot of videos on this channel about Microsoft Teams and I'm always making more as new features come out or as I need to update the content. Comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to show you about Microsoft Teams. Always happy to do that and like this video and share it with colleagues that might need to create Microsoft Teams as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.